Hi, thanks for interesting our paper. A scalable, adaptive, and sound non-convex regularizer for low-rank matrix learning. I'm Yating Wang from Baidu Research. This is a joint work with Chen Yao from Tsinghua University and James Kwok from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. To start with, every day we witness a lot of data and this data carry information because they are structured. To identify the structure, we usually have to turn to the models and optimize the following objective. The first term is used to fit in the data, while the second term is used to apply prior information on the structure. A popularly used and important structure is a low rank structure. Actually, many data can be formulated into matrices, such as images, texts, rating matrices, and spatial temporal data. Low rank matrix learning has been applied to a broader type of applications and problems, such as matrix completion, robust PCA, multitask learning, and subspace pathway. Matrix completion is a target and the focus of this paper. While our proposed low rank regularizer can also apply to other low rank matrix learning problems. So, what is matrix completion? The most well known example is a collaborative filtering. The ratings of M users and N items are organized into a matrix O, and the task is to predict the missing ratings. Indeed, with only a small set of observed entries to impute the missing ones, the key is to leverage the similarity among users and items, which means O has a few freedom. O, in other words, O is low rank. Formally, the low rank matrix learning problem can be formulated as the following objective. As direct rank minimization is NP-hard problems, we usually turn to low rank regularizer Rx to enforce low rank assumption. And three kinds of popularly used low rank regularizers are summarized below. The first one, convex nuclear norm is the tightest convex surrogate for the rank. It equally penalizes singular values and has been analyzed for decades. The second one is the non-convex regularizers, which is usually adaptive, which means they penalize less on the large singular values. The third one is the fa factored regularizers, which factorize either convex ones or non-convex ones in order to eliminate the use of singular values. Instead, we penalize on factored matrices. This allows faster optimization speed, but the performance is usually not satisfactory. To see this clearer, we summarize the three types of low rank regularizers into the above tables. And then we also list existing representative low rank regularizers in the below table and compare them in terms of four perspectives scalability, performance, statistical guarantee, and convergence guarantee. As you can see, only the factor NFN on the last row can achieve four goals simultaneously. And this factored NFN regularizer is proposed in this paper. So what is NFN regularizers? It is the nuclear norm minus Robbins norm. It is a new non convex regularizer. We proved that it also applies adaptive shrinkage on the singular values. And we also discover it can be written in a factored form, which allows rapid optimization. We prove that 
stable recovery is guaranteed and also our proposed optimization algorithms can converge to critical points. So first, what is adaptive shrinkage? Yeah, let's introduce it again. It penalizes less on the more informative large singular values. You can see from the upper right figure that the adaptive non convex regularizers penalize less on the large ones. Well, the convex nuclear norm equally penalizes all singular values. And from the image denoising task, you can see that indeed the adaptive shrinkage is beneficial to the recovery performance. And our proposed NFN regularizers can approximate existing adaptive non convex regularizers, including the kept. L1 regularizers, LSP and MCP regularizers. However, in comparison to this existing non convex regularizers, our proposed NFN regularizer can be written in the factored form. Though the other regularizers, they all require individual singular values, thus, they cannot be written in any form that avoids computing singular values. Or eliminate the use of the costly SVD operations. This factored form allows faster optimizations by using general solvers such as gradient descent. So here we list the optimization algorithms for NFN regularizers and also the factored NFN regularizers. For NFN, we use the proximal algorithms where the proximal operators still need to manipulate with individual singular values. So even if we use rank K truncated SVD, the computation cost is still high, which takes big O MNK time and big O MN as we have to operate on through matrices. As for factored NFN, the computation cost is mainly spent on matrix multiplications with sparse matrices, and this reduces both the time and space complexities significantly. We provide sound theoretical guarantees. We first prove that stable recovery is guaranteed. We, we then provide convergence guarantee for both the NFN regularizer optimized by proximal algorithms and the factored NFN regularizer optimized by general gradient descent. Finally, let's take a closer look at the comparison be between the proposed regularizers and state with art solvers for different kinds of representative regularizers. As shown, our proposed factored NFN is simple, efficient, and easy to apply. In experiments, we compare NFN and factored NFN with the representative regularizers listed in the previous tables. We compare them with low rank regularizers, include the non convex regularizers and convex regularizers, and also their factored forms regularizers. We first consider controlled settings on synthetic data where both the ground truth data and the noise is known. We evaluate the recovery performance by normalized mean squared error as shown in the table. You can see that non-convex regularizers consistently yield better recovery performance and among them factored NF and allows significantly faster optimization speed. Although the speed is comparable to factored nuclear norm, the performance is much better than factored nuclear norm because we apply adaptive penalty for singular values. We then conduct ablation study. We mainly consider three settings different noise variances, different ranks, and different sparsity ratios. As you can see, a, large, a larger noise, smaller true rank, 
or sparser matrix leads to a harder problem. Subsequently, we got higher in MSE. But one observation is consistent that factored NFN can obtain better recovery performance while being the fastest. On real data, we first evaluate the performance on recommendation data. As the ground truth matrix is unknown, we now evaluate the performance by root mean square error defined on the right. As factor GSR is run as out of memory and truncated L1 minus L2 norm cannot converge in three hours, they're not eliminated on movilence 10 million ratings and Yahoo data set. As you can see, factored NFM still obtains the best performance while being the fastest. Another real data set we use is the climate data, actually four data sets. The task is a little bit different from the others because we now have some rows that are completely missing because we do not have any climate observations for those locations. Therefore, we have to add a graph Laplacian rug riders, which capture the similarity between locations. And we, we optimize these new rug riders with the original matrix completion problems. Although the problem setting is a little bit different, the operation is still consistent. Our factor DNF and rug riser obtains the best performance while being the fastest. So in sum, we proposed a new non-convex regularizer called the factored NF regularizers. It's simple, efficient, good, and scalable. And that's the talk. Yeah, that's the end of the talk. Thanks for watching this video and any questions are welcomed. Thank you.